Hey, what's going on guys? This is Dr. Redstone signing back into the Knights and Dragons video. How are you guys doing today? Hopefully you guys were able to check out the live stream. It was kind of a test stream, so um, I did have quite a few people that came out to show a little bit of love and support. Appreciate that. In today's video, what we're going to be going over is going to be heroic mode. More in particular is going to be the novice. So this video is geared more towards the beginner knights and dragons. Maybe they don't have quite so many shadow forges. We're just having some trouble with heroic mode. So without further ado, let's just go on and get into it. And we're going to go and start it off here um, with relic runes. Let me show this picture real quick. I use this every time. So first stage is Relic Runes, Armor 1 and 2 is going to be Fire Spirit. Unfortunately, I don't have Fire Spirit, which is okay, that's not a big deal. I do have my uh, Earth Wind Armor, which is going to get me through like pretty much this whole battle. So um, let's just go ahead and get this started. The key thing to remember with Heroic Mode is going to be the simple fact that all the stages are the same. The first four bosses are the first four enemies that you guys go and fight. Um, are the same. They're not in the same order every single time, so keep that in mind. But they are going to be the same exact people that you fight time in and time out. So um, the last person is going to be different bosses. Uh, Relic Runes is going to be a lot of Earth, as you guys can see here in the video. Um, this is my strongest Shadow Forge with uh, Ring and Amulet almost uh, to max level, um, and it's able to get me through this whole thing. So. Let's see here, we should be able to get, yep, so here's the final boss, takes just a couple swings here. I got one knight to back me up just in case. So a little fun fact, you guys can always um, bring three uh, knights, even if you know you're going to be able to finish with two, who knows what's going to happen, so unless you guys have been doing it for quite some time. Jumping on over here to Thieves Cove, that's going to be the second one, which is going to be mainly water. So let's just go ahead and take a look and see... Um, what is going to be recommended for this one so we have thieves cove air water is the elements we want to take an earth air or two earth airs looks like for this one so which is really good because i do have my one earth air so that's again this is that one's going to pretty much take me all the way through this um, but as you guys can see here i i do bring back up just in case um, I know for a fact that my Earth Air, I've done this one plenty of times, it's going to take me all the way through there. So again, keep in mind guys, the very first four enemies that you go and fight are going to be the same in every single, you know, one, two, three, four, five, and six. They might not be in the same order, but they will be the same. So as you guys can see there, the fairy. So you'll see her again, this water air. And then we have two uh, mono waters, which aren't very strong. The biggest thing that you guys want to do is take a look and see what the strongest ones are. Um, obviously, that water air is the strongest, and then that fairy water spirit is going to be a strong one. So keep in mind of those two, and then usually most of the bosses on this one, I believe, are all waters or water air. Here we go with this one. This is the final boss right here. We're going to be able to take him out no problem. Like I said, this one night can do it for me, so hopefully you guys have that. If not, make sure and comment down below so I can help you out with this, not a problem. Next over is going to be Skeleton's Tomb. This one, I don't really have the ideal armors for it, um, but it is what it is. So you just want to use the very best armors that you guys have. Yeah, again, if anybody's having trouble with this, please comment down below. Let's go ahead and take a look into the screenshot that I have here. All right, Skeleton's Tomb, so recommended Fire Spirit and Fire Spirit, um, Elemental Boss, so the final boss of this stage is going to go ahead and be Spirit Armor, so that's something good to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and see, this is what we're going to go ahead and bring, so my Earth Air um, is, is again my very best armor. I take it in almost every single bout that I do in the very first six stages just because it's the very best armor that I have. So let's take a look here. So we have the spirit air, there's a spirit water. So spirit air, spirit, and spirit air. Those are going to be the three main people that you want to focus on when taking out Skeleton's Tomb. Obviously you want to make sure and focus on those bosses as well. Um, but those three guys that you're going to face, you know, each and every time. So let's see. 
And we should be, yep, we're going to be here to the boss. And again, see my knight, he's still going strong. He's going to get us all the way here to the final boss. I probably shouldn't have used that water, water air, but it is what it is. So I was able to get that guy knocked out. So, all right, got Skeleton's Tomb. Let's just go ahead and jump on over here to this one. So Flaming Wildwood is going to be the next one. I'll go ahead and put up the picture again for us. And so Flaming Wildwood recommended Air Water, Water Fire, Water Fire. So I actually have all three of those ones. Um, and again, I, I just use the very best armors that I have. I use this as a recommendation tool, which I definitely appreciate. As you guys can see here, I have low health, okay? When you go and do this heroic mode, you, one thing you guys can always do is the level up trick, which is basically making sure that you know your knights can get through, um, but gaining that XP along the way, and you're gonna get to a certain point, and we're gonna see here in the video um, where I level up, and then I'm gonna have full health again, okay? And again, another reminder, guys, the first four people that you face in each round is in every single round. They might not be in the same order, but they will be in each round, okay? So we have this guy here, which he's a, he's a mono fire. We have the fire and the fire air. We've seen that in every single time that we've battled thus far, okay? Keep that in mind. That is very, very important when you're doing this. So let's go ahead and get this started. See how far along. And make sure that uh, you know your pet kind of matches. Um, use, the very use the very best pet that you guys have. It's not really that big of a deal, but you know, if you guys have a water one, use a water one. If you guys have a you know spirit earth, whatever. So made that one look pretty easy actually. Um, let's go ahead and jump on over to Cold Rock Craig's, and we'll go ahead and see what we have for that one. All right, so here we are with Cold Rock Craig's. This one is going to be mainly water, mainly mainly air. Um, let's take a look at the chart. Cold Rock Craig's. So it's going to be earth, air, earth, air, earth, air. So it's recommending three earth airs. I actually don't have three earth airs. So I'm using the best that I've got. And elemental boss is air and water. So this is going to be the ones that I'm going to use here. So I'm going to use earth, um, air, which again, my very best armor. Um, and I've got these two guys here to kind of just back me up here. Um, what I'm going to do here again is the level up trick. I use this time and time and time and time and time and time again, guys. Uh, the level up trick is super duper important. Also, saving those potions and those kind of things is also pretty important just to make sure that you guys can, you know, level your or heal your guys um, in case you need to use them. So keep those potions I usually save about a hundred potions and then you know I wait kind of near the end just to see kind of where I'm at um, of heroic mode in case I need to use those potions and stuff like that so and it, as we can see here there's a lot there's my level up so we got you know some air air water and then we're gonna get to this final boss here which is gonna be that water and air uh, the Kodiak, I remember when this armor was super strong way back in the day. Alright, made him look, you know, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So, so the biggest thing to, to make sure, guys, is your, you know, make sure you guys are getting heroic mode. The Shadow Forge you guys get from that is very, very um, important to have in your lineup. You know, you always want to have at least three really good armors. Um, and getting this heroic armor is the very beginning. Um, next is getting that heroic plus armor. So if you guys can get the heroic plus armor, you know, each time, that's pretty good. So, um, all right, fairy forest. This is the hardest one for me to be honest with you. Uh, let's take a look here. Fairy forest. So element one is spirit air, fire spirit, and fire. Um, and I don't have those. So again, I'm just using the very best that I can. I use the level up trick. Um, and those kind of things. So let's just, let's just go ahead and take a look at it. I'm going to be taking a friend with me on this one. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Do I level up on this? I can't remember to be honest with you. Um, but this one, yeah, I usually do take a friend. I just, the armors that I have aren't as strong for this one. Obviously my earth, you know, air is going to get countered really bad on this one. So, 
you know it is what it is definitely make sure that you do whatever you got to do to you know to get through this um, the biggest thing too is if you're you know just barely getting the heroic mode and stuff or getting through the novice heroic make sure and use your friends guys you actually have 10 friends that you guys can use um, I did put out a video of how to use 19 friends in one day make sure that you guys uh, take a look at that video I usually you know I'll be releasing that video probably every other Monday just so you guys can remember to you know use your 19 friends and stuff for hero heroic I find that that one is uh, is quite a bit of help to be honest with you so I set a little timer and stuff like that and so I'll remind you guys because um, I keep reminding myself of that so it's a it's a big tip it helps me definitely a lot and I get the heroic plus so um, yeah it is what it is so now we're here to the boss which is a mono spirit no big deal um, we're getting pretty heavily countered we're able to take her out and again that's that's just my best armor that I have right there guys um, I probably didn't need to bring a friend for that one but that's okay it's it's not a problem uh, better to be safe than sorry that's for sure so um, a couple quick quick tips um, going back into it is making sure that you know you know the four um, enemies that are coming in and out um, also if you haven't taken a screenshot of that picture that I sent make sure and take a screenshot of that you're gonna need that I use that probably every heroic I've been doing heroic for a couple months now and I don't have them all memorized so it you know that's that's the nature of the game um, making sure that you're using your level up trick making sure that you're saving those potions so step one is go ahead and make sure that you're getting heroic armor and then you know as you're getting heroic armor saving gems and maybe going on runs make sure you go and get that heroic plus every single time if you guys don't know how to get the bling for this heroic armor I'm gonna go ahead and leave an annotation here on the screen so you guys can take a look at that bling video um, but yeah hopefully you guys like the video make sure and comment down below if I can help you and make sure and subscribe before you go this is Doc R signing out thanks YouTube